Concerned Western Mass News viewer reached out to our Getting Answers line asking why her grandkids have to wear masks outdoors during recess at their Springfield school. We sent Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli to check it out. He joins us now live in studio after Getting Answers. Matt? Well, hey, Chris and Jordan, here's what I found. The mask guidance has changed from what was in place at the beginning of the school year, and school officials tell me it has helped keep COVID cases down in Springfield schools. Nobody wants to be in their mask all day, every day, and unfortunately right now that is the reality in our schools. Azel Kavan, the Chief Communications Officer for Springfield Public Schools, responding to questions we presented from a concerned viewer whose grandchildren are masking up outside every day for recess at Dryden Elementary School. The viewer, who wanted to remain anonymous, asks, I was informed that children must wear masks outside during recess. It has been going on for a couple of weeks. If this is true, why was it implemented and by whom? Just the school department or was it the health department? Why? We went to check it out for ourselves. We saw students outside for recess at Dryden Elementary, all of them masked up. The data shows that the rate of transmission is higher amongst people 20 years old and younger. So we took that guidance and we extended it to our schools for outdoors. Students are permitted a few mask breaks a day and it's up to individual schools and classrooms when and where they are used. Mask breaks will look different in every school, even every classroom within every school. Um, generally there will be between two and three mask breaks a day. That may be your breakfast time and that may be your lunch time. We're told the guidance changed district-wide in early September and the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education's weekly COVID data, released every Thursday, backs up the potential impact of the move. The latest data reveals 42 positive cases. That's a big step down from 74 cases the week before, a significant decrease over a two-week period. And while she says the policy has drawn mixed reactions, it's always safety first. We know there's no decision that's going to please everyone, um, but we will always make the decision that's in the best interest of the safety and security of, of the students and staff. Kavan says the guidance is very fluid and she's working with the Health and Human Services Commission and it's discussed all day, every day. Reporting live in the studio, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News. Matt, thank you for that live report. And if you have a question or something you want us to look into for you, email us at gettinganswers at westernmassnews.com. Just be sure that you include your name and phone number as we work to dig deeper.